Welcome to MD Conversation. This module discusses the different types of lumps that might be found in a woman's breast and the process of lump discovery, diagnosis, and treatment. Other modules are available that describe other aspects of breast health, including breast biopsy, breast imaging, and breast self-examination. This information is taken from a recent review of the medical literature and attempts to be as transparent and comprehensive as possible. However, it may not necessarily reflect the experience of your healthcare provider or the specifics of your situation. This program is strictly informational in nature, and no attempt is made to provide opinion or recommendation. Please feel free to view this presentation as many times as necessary. You may also use the player on your left to repeat slides or skip through them in any order you wish. A woman's breast is composed of glands that produce milk, ducts that transport milk, supportive connective tissue, a nipple and surrounding areola, and fat, which gives the breast its size and shape. Most women experience periodic changes in the shape and contour of their breasts, often during puberty, pregnancy, and menopause, and due to such factors as the menstrual cycle, weight gain or loss, use of birth control pills, or aging. Such changes may include a thickening of the breast tissue, an area that feels different, indentation of the nipple, discharge from the nipple, puckering or dimpling of the breast skin, a change in breast shape, pain, and a lump or lumpy area. The rest of this presentation focuses specifically on this last change, breast lumps. Should you have any questions or concerns about any other change in the breast, please consult your doctor. Women's breasts are naturally lumpy. The elements that make up the breasts, the muscles and bony ribs underneath the breasts, and the retaining of fluid in the breasts before and during menstruation all contribute to a natural unevenness and lumpiness. However, one of the signs of breast cancer is a breast lump. What is the difference then between having a lump in the breast and simply having lumpy breasts? Normal breast tissue has a soft, dough-like consistency and to the pads of the fingers can feel pebbly, fibrous, grainy or lumpy underneath. Breast lumps, on the other hand, are the different than your usual masses of tissue located anywhere in or on one or both breasts, including the tissue extending from the breast to the armpit. Breast lumps can vary in size, from as small as a pea to larger than a plum. They can be round or irregular. They can have smooth borders or ill-defined borders. They can be painless or painful and they can be attached to breast tissue or be mobile. Becoming more familiar with your breasts through Breast Self-Exam, or BSE, can help you tell the difference between normal breast tissue and a breast lump. Every woman's breasts are different, so it is important that you get to know the look and feel of your breasts to better find any changes unusual for you. A breast self-exam is a visual and physical inspection of your own breasts, done while both standing and lying down. The breasts are checked for their usual size, shape, and color. Also noted is any unusual distortion or swelling, nipple discharge, dimpling or puckering of the skin, inversion of the nipple, redness, or lumps. When performing a breast self-exam, look specifically for any of the following a lump that stands out as different from the rest of your breast tissue, a lump present in only one breast, a lump that persists after the end of your period, a lump that seems to get worse or more obvious over time, and, if you are past menopause, any new lump or thickening in the breast. For a detailed description of how to perform a breast self-exam, please refer to the module in this series titled Breast Self-Examination. Finding a lump in the breast can understandably be uncomfortable, upsetting, or frightening. A breast lump, however, does not automatically mean breast cancer. In fact, more than 80% of breast lumps that can be felt or palpated are benign, meaning non-cancerous. Breast lumps are very common, may appear at any age, and are found in both men and women. 
They can be caused by cysts, non-cancerous tumors, cancer, and rarely infection, injury, or inflammation. There are many benign or non-cancerous causes of breast lumps. Breast infections typically occur in women who are breastfeeding. Breast injury can lead to a lump of dead fat cells called fat necrosis. Breast inflammation could be due to something called sclerosing adenosis, which is scarring and inflammation around the mammary glands, or to duct ectasia, widened milk ducts that get clogged with fluid and dead cells. Cysts are fluid-filled lumps, while non-cancerous tumors are solid lumps. These could be papillomas, small growths inside the milk ducts, fibrocystic changes, or fibroadenoma. The most common non-cancerous breast masses are fibrocystic changes, cysts, and fibroadenomas. Fibrocystic breasts are lumpy breasts due to enlarged milk glands, forming cysts, and areas of tissue scarring. A fibrocystic breast is not a diseased breast. It is merely a harmless, common variation of a normal breast and is associated with fluctuating hormone levels. Fibrocystic lumps tend to be smooth, round, and movable, and the breasts can feel tender or painful. Though treatment for this benign condition will depend on your particular situation, breast soreness, at least, may be managed by wearing a supportive, well-fitting bra, taking pain relievers or oral contraceptives, changing diet, lowering caffeine intake, or lowering stress. Having fibrocystic breasts does not increase your risk of breast cancer. Breast cysts, also common, are benign, fluid-filled sacs in the breast that occur mostly in women aged 35 to 50. They are smooth, oval, or round, firm or rubbery, mobile lumps that are often tender to the touch. They may disappear on their own or need to be drained with a thin needle. Fibroadenomas are benign, solid breast growths that are made up of fibrous tissue and gland cells. They are found in women of all ages, are oval, smooth, and well-defined. They can feel like marbles, are easily movable, are usually painless or only slightly tender, and can change with the menstrual cycle. A fibroadenoma can go away on its own. To summarize, a breast lump can be an infection, injury, inflammation, a cyst, a non-cancerous growth or cancer, and the most common non-cancerous lumps are fibrocystic changes, smooth, round, movable, and usually tender, cysts, smooth, oval, or round, firm or soft, movable, and tender, and fibroadenomas, smooth, oval, movable, and usually not tender. It can be difficult to distinguish a harmless lump from cancer, however, which is why all breast lumps should be checked by a health care professional. Possible signs of breast cancer include spontaneous nipple discharge that is bloody or clear, nipple changes such as retraction, enlargement or itching, scaliness or eczema-like appearance, a change in the size, contour, or symmetry of the breast, a redness, dimpling, flattening, or indentation of the skin, and swelling of the arm. If you feel a lump in your breast or notice any other change in your breast, don't panic. If you are due to start your next menstrual period within a week or so, wait until after it is finished. Many non-cancerous lumps will go away by themselves with menstruation. If the lump persists after your period, see your doctor. The majority of breast lumps are not cancerous, but it's important to have them checked out by a doctor. Your doctor can help ease your fears, and if it turns out that an area in your breast is indeed cancerous, by seeing your doctor early, you will be speeding up the process of diagnosis and treatment. A doctor evaluates a breast lump by asking you your medical history, giving you a thorough physical exam, sometimes performing diagnostic imaging tests, and sometimes sampling breast tissue through a biopsy. Doctors differ slightly in how they address breast lumps, and each patient situation is unique. 
Your doctor will begin by asking you some questions about the lump and about your medical history, such as, When did you first notice the lump? Has the lump changed in size? Have you recently experienced injury to the breast? Have you noticed a change in the number of lumps you can feel? Have you noticed any nipple discharge? When was your last period? Have you recently been pregnant? Are you breastfeeding? Do you or your family have a history of breast problems, other medical conditions, or cancer? Are you on any medication, including hormone replacement therapy? And have you had a mammogram, another breast imaging test, or a biopsy before. Next, your doctor will perform a clinical breast exam to thoroughly investigate the breasts and surrounding areas. The doctor will note the shape and size of the breasts, feel the breasts and armpits for any lumps or areas of thickness, and check the breasts for any skin or nipple abnormalities. You might need to raise your arms, place your hands on your hips, or lie down during this exam so that the breasts can be examined from different angles. This exam usually takes several minutes. Then, to get a closer, more detailed look at any breast abnormality suspected, your doctor will likely recommend a diagnostic imaging test, such as a mammogram, an x-ray of the breast, and or an ultrasound, which is imaging using sound waves. A mammogram is an x-ray of the breast used to investigate breast abnormalities and precisely locate and determine the size of a breast lump. It allows us to visualize a lump too small to be detected by touch alone. A mammogram image can suggest cancer if it shows an irregular, dense area, a thickening of the skin, a lump with sharp, irregular edges, or a group of small white dots called calcium deposits. Having said this, while a mammogram may show a lump, it cannot always distinguish between a benign lump, a cancerous lump, or a fluid-filled cyst. Also, the accuracy of a mammogram can be affected by the density of the breast tissue, which varies among women and tends to be greater in younger women. Therefore, your doctor may also order an ultrasound to make a more accurate diagnosis. An ultrasound is a procedure that uses high-frequency sound waves to create images of the inside of the body. It can confirm a lump is solid, partly solid, or filled with liquid, and in fact, ultrasound is 100% accurate in the diagnosis of cysts. It can also suggest whether a lump is cancerous or not, based on its appearance. A cancerous lump is usually solid or partly solid, oblong, and has an irregular outline. After diagnostic imaging, once the doctor can better locate the breast lump, a biopsy test called Fine Needle Aspiration Biopsy, or FNAB, is often performed. FNAB is a quick, simple, non-surgical procedure. It uses a very fine needle to drain fluid from a breast cyst or sample tissue from a breast lump. If a lump is a cyst, it will shrink after the needle removes the fluid. Unless the fluid is bloody, it will simply be discarded. Once the cyst is drained or disappears on its own, you may require no further investigation. If there is little or no fluid, however, the lump is probably not a cyst, and therefore a sampling of the tissue is recommended. If the doctor needs still more information, repeat biopsy is sometimes necessary. The other types of biopsies used to investigate breast lumps include core needle biopsy, directed vacuum assisted biopsy, and surgical biopsy. For more information on each of these procedures, please view the module in this series titled Understanding Breast Biopsy. Treatment for a breast lump will depend on its cause. Benign, solid breast lumps, though they do not need to be surgically removed, can be removed if they are painful, growing rapidly, or are causing you anxiety. Cysts may be drained, but usually only if they are painful. Fibrocystic changes can be improved by using birth control pills, changing diet, and or taking supplements, while infection is typically treated with antibiotics. Treatment for breast cancer depends on the type of cancer, its stage, and its appearance. 
Options include surgery, radiation, chemotherapy, and hormone therapy. Most women receive a combination of these treatments, as thoroughly discussed with their doctor. To summarize, breast lumps are one of the changes women periodically experience in their breasts. An abnormal breast lump, however, is not the same as a natural lumpiness in the breast. Breast self-exam, a doctor's physical exam, diagnostic imaging, and sometimes biopsy are used to help diagnose a breast abnormality. Though a lump in the breast can mean cancer, more than 80% of palpable breast lumps turn out to be benign. It is important that you get to know the look and feel of your own breasts through self-exam and that you consult a doctor about any breast health concerns. Other modules in this series include Understanding Breast Biopsy, Breast Imaging Through Mammogram, Breast Imaging Through Ultrasound, and Breast Self-Examination. Here are just a few of many resources available to educate you on breast health, breast cancer, and breast biopsy. These resources may also assist you. We sincerely hope that this module has furthered your understanding of breast lumps. We wish you the best for the future and thank you once again for using MD Conversation.